Okay, straight away this is really annoying me. Why are these people not using the full length of the road? Drive down to the end! Use the full road! Use the full road! Absolute idiots! Use the full length of the road, okay? You, how does, how do so many people in this country not know how to merge in turn? You drive down to the end and you merge in like a zip. Otherwise, you're just creating further, further traffic jams. Greetings and welcome to the beautiful town of Arundel. Now, today I want to talk about this latest. Tory attack on the homeless. Uh, I've covered Sunak before, his just pure disdain for the homeless population. The homeless population that his party has massively increased since they were in charge in uh, 2010. Uh, I brought you the stories in Parliament where he's just laughing off stories about homeless families, families that have been evicted from their homes, being forced to live in a van. He just laughs it off. This guy has got pure disdain for the homeless and the latest crime bill that they're putting through is basically making homelessness illegal locking you up putting you in prison if you're sleeping in a shop doorway if you smell too bad oh yeah it's all in there if you smell too bad you're putting off customers ah, away with you smelly <laughs> this is all in in real real life crime bills that this disgusting party are bringing forth absolutely disgusting now i i, I kind of think with sunak that i don't think he actually understands how people can be poor and how people can be homeless. I think in his stupid, in his privileged upbringing, his, his upbringing of pure wealth and, and privilege, he just doesn't understand how someone could be homeless. Uh, well, you know, if they get a job, then uh, they could buy a house, surely. Uh, they're just lazy. I mean, that is his thought process. I'm sure of it. And all these privileged toffs, they're all the same because they haven't lived real life. They don't know real life. They don't understand that you can get a minimum wage job and you won't even be able to afford a bed sit <laughs> in, most, in most cities at the moment. He doesn't understand life life problems, life issues. He doesn't understand people that come from really horrific backgrounds that have had to deal with abuse and uh, then get dependent on drugs and alcohol. He doesn't understand any of this stuff. He just thinks, well, if you haven't got a job, then you're homeless, this is your own fault. They'll shove you in prison, in prison. The best place, isn't it, to put, put our, our, our most uh, unfortunate population in prison. And not only that, but aren't our prisons full to the brim anyway? Because we're just putting like drug dependent people in our prisons and not actually violent criminals. So the violent criminals, the ones that really need to go to prison are being let out early because we don't have the prison places. So yeah, let's just fill it with homeless people as well. Absolutely disgusting. Now they always wheel out the same. Julian Keegan was doing the rounds on uh, on the uh, news channels yesterday. He's trying to defend this disgusting bill. Uh, they they seem to be picking a a lot recently to try and defend this stuff. And um, the reason I think they pick her is because I think she's she might have a little shred, a tiny little shred. Of, uh, of of dignity, you know. I, I think she's got something. I don't know. I have this problem sometimes of of uh, always trying to find the best in people. I don't know. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing actually. I can't find any goodness in in Suna. But Keegan, I mean, she was famous a few months back when she, uh, during the uh, concrete that were falling away from our schools, she was out defending that and saying, oh, why does no one give us any praise? You know, I took the piss out of her for that. Um, but I think she got angry because I think she was put in that position and she's probably actually trying to do something. And I think she's probably been wheeled out to do these interviews and um, she was laughing, wasn't she? That was, I'll, I'll put the clip in. People who are on the streets Should rough that's why sweepers be arrested if they're a nuisance? That. Well, of course, if somebody's acting aggressively or being a nuisance, then that is that is different. So, you know, the, the police are operating... What about if they're... What about if, sorry, you know, Secretary of State, we're running out of time. You were a little late to us. Um, what about if they smell? Sorry. The bill states that rough sleepers might be considered a nuisance if there's an excessive smell. So if you smell, you might be arrested. Well, I mean, I think the most important thing, as Not I say, funny. is to make sure we help people off the streets 
No, I'm not saying it's funny, and I'm, I'm saying the most important thing is to help people off the streets. That's Should why people be arrested if they smell into this. Well, no, people should not be arrested just uh, if they smell. But, of course, um, what we'll be doing is be considering any legislation. But, Kay, the most important thing is what we're doing, £2 billion, to make sure that we but help... Then why criminalise people if they the find themselves and uh, sleeping rough? It's not a lifestyle choice, despite what Suella Braverman says. No, it's not a lifestyle choice. Normally people have, um, you know, uh, had a lot of hardship to before they got to that point. Um, and, you know, I've spoken to many people in that situation. Usually they'll they'll have suffered some kind of breakdown or they'll be addicted to something and they need exactly. support and help in two homes. So, yeah, she was laughing. And I, I think she's laughing at what she's having to defend here and that she thinks that it's just absolutely disgusting obviously i may be wrong but i think she's she's just got i think she is trying to do something but the thing is jillian you're in the wrong political party if you want to have some sort of shred of moral dignity if you want to do something good for this country defect from that abhorrent political party right now just defect from them and, you know, people will say, well, if you're not in government, then you can't do anything, can you? But, you know, if enough people defect, then by, by default, they'll have to call an election. Because that is the most, the most good that you can do for this country now, if you are a Conservative MP, is defect. Because this political party being in charge of this country, for every single day they're in charge, is doing the most damage to this country you possibly can. Um, right, I'm going to switch back in a minute, because I've got to make a delivery. I'll come back with this one. Okay, yeah, no, we're back. Now, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm being silly. Like I said, I, I, I always try and look for the best in here. And I think Julian Keegan got upset before because I think she probably is trying her best to actually um, yeah, do something in government, something good. I, I, I generally believe that. But like I say, she's just in the wrong political party. If you want to actually do some good, leave that party that institution is rotten and corrupt to the core leave it that is the best thing you can do for this country <laughs> defect to another party and try your best to call, call an election if enough of you defect from the tory party you can call an election and then finally get rid of these bastards because you can't do any good in that institution that is rotten to the core that is responsible for the hundreds of thousands of deaths during austerity for the insane homeless population that we were just talking about there, uh, child poverty, food banks, the dealing with COVID, the corruption, the pure corruption during a worldwide global pandemic. And these pricks are corrupt to the core, giving out contracts to their mates, not who could best get PPE equipment, not who could best do a test and trace program. No, whoever their mates were. This institution is disgusting, corrupt to the core. And Gillian, if you want to do some good, defect right now honestly you need to go you need to go so back to the homeless thing um it just it just amazes me like i said with sunak he obviously has absolutely no and the majority of people in the tory party have no idea why people actually end up homeless and why you what what was the point of what are you actually trying to achieve here this is this is my question with this bill of criminalizing homelessness who are you trying to attract? Because as we know, every single thing that is done by the Tories right now is to try and win votes. So what voter base are you trying to win by putting forward this program of criminalizing homelessness? Just just pure evil people? I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Uh, if you guys know, please comment down below. What is the point of this bill? Who are they trying to attract with their votes? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> now, uh, just... Just before I go, I just want to mention, I'm going on holiday uh, Sunday. I'm going to be away for three weeks, but I do have some exciting videos backed up for you guys to watch. I've got uh, one video, what if the UK got PR in 2011? How would it have turned out? How would it have changed history? Um, I've got other videos on what three key points I'd change about the UK if I was in charge. Uh, various different videos that are coming out while I'm away, so don't worry about that. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, click a like. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe up top. There'll be another video. You can check that out as well. I'm going to go back to this rainy, miserable England day, but for not too long.
because I'm pissing off out of this country for three weeks. Till next time, take care.